Going through short content, but you, my friend, you're here to learn. Welcome to TRS Clips. Have you met Dr. Jay Shankar? Yes, 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 I have. Okay. Many occasions, yeah. Many occasions. Yeah, yeah. So you have a fair understanding of who he is and how he is as a person. Yeah. The Indian internet, especially the audiences that consume geopolitical mm. content, are huge fanboys and fan girls. So, I would count myself in this fan group. Why do you say that? Because he's a very smart man, very smart. You know, you see, he's a diplomat. Uh, a very seasoned diplomat. He has uh, been uh, uh, in in many many uh, diplomatic postings. And I myself, when I served in Washington D.C., I met him there as the Indian ambassador to Washington. And but now he has a, politi- a, p- a political uh, side to it. So he has both the diplomatic experience and the skills, and he's also a politician. And that's a very good combination for foreign policy. And let me tell you, I think the way he words and expresses Indian foreign policy is masterful, masterful, because he's a very good communicator, as many Indians are, and um, he's very funny and witty. He can be very yeah. sort of eloquent and, and extremely, um, you know, he plays with words. And at the same time, he's sharp as a razor. I mean, he's really, really good. Um, it's a pleasure to converse with him, a okay. pleasure to converse with him. Um, I, I think India can be proud of this foreign minister. Yeah. Uh, you said that he's got both diplomat skills as well as political skills. I'd actually like for you to break that down a little, little bit mm. because not too many people in India, honestly, at least in Mumbai, which is like an extremely capitalistic mm. city, mm. not too many people I know have even tried becoming diplomats. I mm. won't say the same for, say, Delhi mm. or another part of India, but what do diplomat skills entail versus what do political skills entail? Mm. So I think... What is, what are, what's the skills of a diplomat? I think a, a, the diplomat should be able to communicate with everybody on the planet, basically, whether you are in Papua New Guinea or in Alaska or in Sweden or in Malawi. Uh, you should really be able to find a way of conversation. And then a second thing that a diplomat should know is, you know, how to defend the interests of your country so that your counterpart or your yeah, the counterpart in the country understands what you want. Uh, um, so how to make, let's say, our requirements, our requests, our ideas palpable for the other. Uh, so it's an intercultural communication skill that, that diplomats must have. You have to see how others will react, how to make your points in a way that the others understand them and take them up. Okay. Sometimes it's very difficult. No. For example, let's say we have extremely complicated relations with Russia right now, for obvious reasons. How do you get through uh, to the Russian side, which is basically very hostile when it comes to Germany right now, for obvious reasons? But uh, this is diplomatic skill. So how do you maneuver yourself co- in a communication, in a communication-wise, uh, to your counterpart? In make him understand what you want from him. Yeah, that's that's, communica- that's diplomatic skill. A politician on the other side needs to take decisions. Yeah? Decisions take uh, must be taken. He will clearly decide on uh, how foreign policy will be shaped or which priorities in foreign policy are there. I mean, this is not only the foreign minister; it's the prime minister to start with. But the foreign minister has a has a big word to to say in this. So. What Dr. Jay Shankar, I think, has is both. He knows how to communicate and he knows how to take political decisions. Mm. And that's why he's, I think, a very successful foreign mm. So as a diplomat, you're constantly getting inputs from your Capital. country's government. Clearly. And you have to do certain things when it comes to mm. the diplomats of other nations. Yes. In terms of if your government wants to talk to their government, the work actually happens through the yeah. diplomats. Yeah. Yeah. So the main skill is communication skills. Exactly. And some form of writing, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah. and you write back then to capital. I mean, you write you write long reports saying that the Indian side, side looks at this problem in such and such way. Gotcha. So, so basically, you, you receive and you write back home. Okay. And then you receive from home. They say instructions, go to the Indians, ask them to build up a partnership on green and sustainable development together with us, and then you go to that. Okay. That's so right. Dr. Jai Shankar spent decades as a diplomat mm. and then he switched into becoming a politician yeah. because he possibly figured that hmm when i stay abroad this is how people perceive my country mm. uh, he learned certain things mm. and now he's applying it to help the modi government with governance especially when it comes to foreign policy exactly all right uh, okay uh, now i'll let you break him down a little bit more <laughs> have you ever chilled with him <laughs>
I think um, chilling in your way, I would say no. <laughs> <laughs> but what we did was, you know, when you when you sit, we had a, you know, my foreign minister came, we had a lunch with him. And when you sit over lunch, then it can become very funny also. You know, really? he, he tells a couple of stories, which I'm not um, at uh, my at liberty to, to share with you. No but, problem. But he's, uh, he, you know, he has a huge experience and... Um, and uh, he can then be very, very um, insightful and funny at a time. So it is very entertaining, for you, or entertaining and enlightening to sit with him on, uh, at a dinner time. So I think Dr. Jay Shankar is a very, very well uh, respected uh, foreign minister worldwide. I think he has a name, a household name, Dr. Yeah. Jay Shankar. Yeah. Uh, his name comes up in the next PM conversation sometimes. You know, mm. like he's one of the dark horses. Is that so? Me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd say he's a dark horse yeah, for okay, it. Okay. I don't know if he himself wants yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, to do that. Well, you know, let me tell you as a diplomat, if you if you want to be um, something, rather not talk about it. Mm. The moment you you throw you as we say oh. you throw your hat and say I'm here and. Mm. The risk is that you become burned or that they kick you out very early. So Silent. you have to be you have to be very very careful on how to. So I haven't heard about that. That's for me the first time I hear. But um, I'm not surprised that he doesn't speak about. it. जैसे answer करते हैं तो मुझे ऐसा लगता है कि when a diplomat turned into politician ना तो मुझे लगता है कि ये बड़ा अच्छा एक combination बन जाता है. उसकी reason ये कि diplomats जो हैं वो डिफरेंट डिफरेंट जगहों पर जाते हैं जैसे कहते हैं ना घाट घाट का पानी पीना हाँ। तो उन्होंने जो जहां पर भी उनकी ड्यूटी होती है जैसे बीच में बोला भी कि जो डिप्लोमेट्स हैं उनको इंटरकल्चरल कम्युनिकेशन आनी चाहिए और अगर हम लोग ज्यादातर डिप्लोमेट्स देखें तो वो जहां पर भी उनकी ड्यूटी होती हो उनको वहां का कल्चर मतलब काफी ज्यादा उनके वहां पर ऐसे फेस्टिवल्स भी फेस्टिवल्स कह रही हूँ 